It took 11 innings and 4 hours and 44 minutes for the Duluth Huskies to win their series finale against the Bismarck Larks on an evening at Wade Stadium. Hello everyone and welcome into today's broadcast here on the Northwoods League Baseball Network. Joined alongside my broadcast partner Max Stapleton. I'm Wyatt Copelman as we're delighted to have you along here tonight for tonight's game broadcast. Now Max, what a wild game that was last night. A marathon for the Huskies. It was 10 runs after 3 innings for Duluth, but ultimately a 12 to 11 victory in what was a marathon. Yeah, what an offensive showing we got here at Wade Stadium last night. Overall, four Huskies had multi-hit games. Jonathan Vastine went 2 for 3 with a triple and 3 runs. J.D. Rogers had 2 hits and 2 RBIs. Amber Voitek, 4 hits at the plate last night. He also had 2 RBIs. Then Hudson Sapp, kind of a surprising guy, has been in the lineup a lot. He went 3 for 4 with a run and a walk. It was an overall great offensive showing for these Huskies. You mentioned the walk, 31 combined walks between the Larks and the Huskies. Ultimately, the center fielder Bobby Blandford coming through with a game-winning bases-loaded walk to decide the game last night, and quite the ending it was as well. The Huskies winning it 12-11. to Speaking of which, a few All-Stars for the Duluth Huskies going to the Great Plains representation just a couple of weeks from now in Wisconsin Rapids. A few to name in particular, Christian Campbell was not in the lineup last night. Eduardo Rosario as well. Rosario with five games, three multi- hit outings in those five games, and Christian Campbell, meanwhile, 20 hits in 12 games, in addition to Jake Christensen, the right-handed reliever. We've talked about Eduardo Rosario and Christian Campbell so much this year. I want to give Jake Christensen his due. He's got a low one ERA as a closer. He leads the Northwoods League of remaining pitchers who are still on teams in strikeouts, and he always seems to come in in the biggest moments of a game. Marcus Pointer uses him in high-leverage situations, including a three-inning save against the lacrosse loggers only about a little more than a week ago in lacrosse, so should be a fun one with him on the mound. Last night, he might come back in today, but overall, a well-deserved all-star appearance. Jay Christensen coming in last night, striking out the side to give the Huskies the momentum they needed in that 11th inning. Christensen now 1-2 and two on the season. The Huskies, they will have Jake Combs, a newcomer in the rotation for the Huskies here on the mound tonight. Of Southern Illinois, he'll be facing off against the loggers in Garrett Rennie, coming away off of a season of his own. Two interesting pitching matchups here. Yeah, Jake Combs making his Northwoods League debut today with the Huskies at Southern Illinois. He had a 2-1 record with a 5-2-1 ERA. Our scouting report on him is that he likes to pitch to contact, but he still has a good strikeout-to-walk ratio. His only minor issue is that when you pitch to contact, well, a lot of hitters can hit the ball off you. His opponent average was 271. Not the greatest, but still not the worst, so hopefully he can bring that down a little bit in the Northwoods League. And for Garrett Rennie for lacrosse tonight, it's going to be his third appearance, his second start. He actually started against the Huskies on that four-game road trip, and in that game, he went three innings, five hits, gave up three earned runs. The Huskies got him with three walks and two strikeouts, so this is a guy the Huskies have seen before and might be able to have a repeat performance against him, try to come out with the win against a division rival. So a familiar foe for the Huskies to face in Garrett Rennie. He went three innings, as Max mentioned. Meanwhile, Jake Combs, a teammate of Jake Christensen now at Southern Illinois, coming off his first season with the program. That's all we have for you for now here on the Northwoods League Baseball Network. Lineups and pitching coming right in front of you here on the Northwoods League Baseball Network.